Hey guys, just thought I'd try to get a video on uh, NVIDIA Share. It's part of the new beta experience that they released yesterday. So I was doing a video with it yesterday. It was kind of difficult to make the video. The application itself is pretty easy to use. Anyway, so maybe I should briefly go into what it was or what it is that it does. So NVIDIA Share Play or NVIDIA Share Beta or co-op beta there seems to be a few different names surrounding it anyway is a tool similar to something that you see on the ps4 the share play function anyway it's there and it allows you to reasonably dynamically share your screen or your game or control of the game that you're using there's a few caveats with it but it, by and large it seems to work pretty well um, so you can probably see it on screen. I've been doing it there trying to get it set up and Get it running. This is all running on one PC. So it's That's what <laughs> was causing me most difficulty here but, uh, It's just happening there essentially boot up the game press alt Z uh, Select share and then you can copy a link and send it to your friend probably through steam most likely easiest way because what I discovered at least in my running of it is that uh, you get limited to one screen well with your mouse you'll be limited to one screen so you can't move your mouse off screen one you can't seem to move things between one screen and the other at that point either um, also my mouse is pretty much stuck in the top left hand corner once I start doing share play uh, outside of the game that is um, yeah so that does make things a bit more difficult so you can only move things around with keyboard so can't move from one screen to another at that point or at least doesn't seem to let me so uh, but once I have everything set up it's going and you can kind of see it there that uh, there's next to no lag basically I, I shared that with my browser now it is running on the same PC so I don't know exactly how it's sharing it whether it's creating a direct connection from my PC to wherever it's supposed to be I assume that that's probably how it works and that's what's going on for next to no lag here uh, then you know, my day job has me running cloud services um, or applications that are hosted applications I say and there's next to no lag there so but then there's a lot less going on in applications I am controlling my character with the share side oh, sorry I'm controlling the character in game but I'm watching the share screen um, I'm not sure if that's an excuse for how bad my shooting is there but let's, let's go with that um, the other thing Yes, but uh, yeah, sorry, I just wanted to say that it looks pretty good. Like, yeah, it's, it's obviously it's not Where quite you? As, as high quality. Um, I couldn't get rid of the stuff on screen because I, I can't get over if I tab out of the game, that stuff disappears. So, it's, you know, game is paused, you'll have to wait for the press to come back. So, once I bring the game back, good job. And the stuff appears on screen, so I can't get rid of it. Uh, I was going to try and do it on more than one PC. Uh, trying to sync up or show the difference in time would have been uh, much more difficult to do because uh, we're talking about hopefully split seconds. That you know, there, there's a there's a pause to show how long it takes between one side and the other. I mean, for me, it's it's almost impossible to tell that they're not running at exactly the same time. Yeah, so it's pretty good. I mean, oh, oh uh, it does seem to have a hit on resources, and it did seem to cause some funny things to happen. But by and large, it's it's, it's good. Select a mission. Uh, I'm gonna do another test, all right, with a friend of mine. Let him take control of the game from his house, um, which is a, a fair distance away. So we'll uh, get a better judge of how that works, anyway. But for now, this is more uh, a case of showing almost real-time real streaming. 
but it, it, it's good. I, I like it. And uh, the beta seems pretty reasonably fleshed out. Um, a couple of other things to note is that it only works with Chrome. The, uh, when you send the link, it, it opens. Um, it's a web link, so you open the web page and it will tell you that this only works with Chrome and requires a Chrome and video Chrome plugin. Roger. Once that goes in, it opens up, pops up a, another window, which is a bit weird, but it's good. Uh, and, and that's this is what you get, uh, pretty much what you see in the bottom right hand corner where it says share beta, that's what I'm getting. There, there's clearly been a couple of instances where it's from some kind of lag. Some of this I'm not sure whether it's <laughs> because of my PC, which you know, it's fairly terrible to PC. But I am playing the game, streaming the game, capturing multiple screens and applications and all on the same PC. So <laughs> some of that could have have a hit. Although sadly the task render team show for me. Uh, it was next to impossible for me to have that on screen without causing severe <laughs> lag to the game and making the whole capture fall over. So I couldn't really see what I was capturing as I was capturing it. But uh, maybe I'll try and do another video again where we have more uh, or a bigger task manager screen. But uh, you know what? It's, you can see it there. It's not. Ordering the PC, but it's, give it's doing so well. work anyway. But I, you you can I encourage people to give it a go, especially if you're trying to play a local co-op game. Like um, I was looking at playing new gear Verzi, uh, I'm sure something in the space, but it was only uh, it was only local co-op. Anyway, um, that's probably going to be the end of the video now. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't tried out the NVIDIA share beta uh, NVIDIA experience, the new beta, there you go. It's worth a, a look. Okay, cheers. Goodbye. Who wants to see me do a beat?